Hello, my name is Joseph Fernando. I'm an architect program manager with the Microsoft Robotics Studio team. I'd like to talk to you about the sumo competition that we are sponsoring and hosting at the MEDC. This is the robot that we have developed and brought over here. It's a base, is used as a, a create from my robot. To that, we've uh, attached an iCOB board that's a, uh, it runs at 166 megahertz. We're using a camera for vision processing, for vision, and at the bottom, we have IR sensor so that it detects color on the uh, sumo ring and uh, edge sensors as well. So these robots will compete on a ring that we have over here and we'll attempt to push each other out of the ring. So these robots will be placed like so, one here, another here, and based on our current CTP, that's a community technical preview release, these developers are developing software to compete in this game. The idea is the robots would fight like this, trying to push each other out of the ring, and when one goes out of the ring, the game stops. We will run three rounds, and the best will qualify for the finals and then we will uh, see who wins the, uh, the entire uh, event here. Wonderful. Now you see, this is actually pushing it uh, out of the ring, and bam, there you go. It found the edge and it turned away. Notice that as soon as it comes to the edge, it moves so turns around. What makes a Aerobo smarter than another one? Ah, that is so that they can this is all based on our, on our samples. And developers are coding different algorithms here. Some will uh, place priority on the sensors, some will be able to slowly move the robot, try to figure out where the other opponent is, and they're implementing multiple strategies. And we will see what strategies win, what doesn't, and how well this code reacts. And also remember that the, uh, the processing on this particular board there are some latencies involved, so they need to accom accommodate for that. So when the robot is turning and it sees the opponent in front, by that time the robot may have turned slightly more than what it is supposed to, and it may have missed the, co the robot, uh, the opponent. In here, they would be compute, computing and calculating where the opponent is, and then target that particular opponent. How so many, these are the uh, characteristics that they will be implementing. How many contestants are you expecting tomorrow? Well, we have allocated 40 contestants, space for 40, and based on their qualifications, we hope to have about 20 people participating tomorrow. Wonderful. Thank you very much. You're quite welcome.